like to send this into the mayor being here via Zoom. Thank you. Mr. Jeslow, your name for the record, please. Luke Tyler Jeslow. All right. So Mr. Jeslow is on currently on probation for possession of a dangerous weapon. The resisting, assaulting, obstructing an officer was dismissed. And it's alleged, and I'm sorry, Mr. Jezalo was sentenced on August 14th, and it is alleged that he violated probation, which would be technical violations two and three, by testing positive for cocaine on November 6th, November 16th, as well as on November 16th, alcohol and marijuana. And counsel? Yes, Your Honor, my client will not be requesting a violation of probation hearing. I'm sorry? My client will not be requesting a violation of probation hearing. Okay. And then, counsel, I'm going to state something else, but um, that these re we re just received results this morning regarding positive for cocaine, alcohol, and marijuana also on December 1st. So just so you're aware of that. Okay, Mr. Jezalo, please raise your right hand. You soundly swear from the testimony about to give this man to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And you heard the allegations, correct, sir? Yes, Your Honor. And as to those probation violation allegations, sir, how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. And you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Yes, ma'am. And you understand all of your rights as it relates to probation violation hearing? Yes. Okay. And counsel, we're also, this is also a jail review as well, based on the prior probation violation. And so, Mr. Jezalo, you understand by entering into a plea, you'll be waiving some of those rights, and you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea today, correct? Yes, ma'am. Specifically, the recommendation in this matter is for you to continue to complete all terms of probation, pay a $50 probation violation fee, increase your testing, and serve 15 days jail. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. You also understand that, by, that this court could adopt that recommendation whole, in part, or um, deviate completely. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. And knowing all that, do you still want to continue with your plea? Yes, ma'am. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No, Your Honor. All right. Counsel, if you can please pardon your client. Yes, I'd like to direct your attention back to November 6, 2023. Did you submit to a test uh, pursuant to your probationary terms to test positive for cocaine? Yes. And then on November 16, 2023 and December 1st of 2023, did you submit to a test that reflected the use of cocaine and alcohol? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. Okay, and also marijuana on that November 16th test. And uh, would you also stipulate that you tested positive for the date just listed by from the judge? Yes. All right, the court <clears throat> is satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violations and based upon those violations, enter technical violations two and three. And counsel as to um, sentencing on this matter. Your Honor, I know that we originally had a jail review. I'd ask that considering the jail review, there was uh, penalties that uh, the new violations are absorbed into the penalty that the original jail review was going to admonish and have this matter closed out. Thank you, Judge. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that last part. What was that? I would just ask that he be admonished with the jail time and then have his probationary terms closed out. Mr. Jezalo, you've been on probation since May 9th. We'd already revoked you under advisement. If you're testing today, what's in your system? 
probably marijuana and alcohol. And when's the last time you used either one of those, sir? Uh, three days ago, four days ago. So, sir, you're on probation. You know that you can't use those substances. You have a pending probation violation and jail review hearing, and you're still using those substances. Yeah, sure, Anna. Do you think you have an issue happening right now or no? No, I mean, I was addicted for a long time and I've been doing good and I don't know, somewhere, somehow, something caused a relapse, but. Right. And so, and now you've added cocaine into the mix. So, sir, I guess the court uh, would think that you do have a problem or an issue, much to your um opposite of what you're stating. Well, you're not trying some um, excuse that you don't know how it ended up in your system. So what the court's going to do is the court's going to revoke your probation. Close the case about improvement. The court's going to order fifteen days jail for the recommendation. The court's going to <clears throat> actually strike that. The court's going to order 20 days, 25 days in the Wayne County Jail as the court's revoking your probation. 25 days in the Wayne County Jail, and the court's going to also add the five days from your jail review. So it's going to be 30 days total? Yes. And you're going to report tonight. Is there any way I could possibly report Friday? Why Friday? My, my father owns his own small business and his mechanic's out for the week. He was asking me to help him at work this week. I'm just asking if I can possibly turn myself in Friday so I can help them throughout the week. Well, sir, I can appreciate that with your dad and helping them out, but given given the the downward slide that you're on right now, it's not um, a good idea for you to be out of custody in this um, in this circumstance. So you to report tonight. Okay. Thank you, Anna. And so I'm going to have you email into Ms. Shine. She'll give you those reporting instructions. And, um, sir, in the event you want treatment, you can certainly request to be tethered to treatment in the Wayne County, through the Wayne County Jail. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. All right. Good luck to you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're on the record in the matter of Eric Caban, 23910A. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. I can hear you. My client is to be sent to me to be here to be soon. I can't hear. Okay. And Ms. Bond, please turn your camera on. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to right now. Okay, there we go. It was flipped around. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. And today is the date scheduled. And your name, ma'am, for the record? Erica Bond. 
All right. And so this court, uh, you're currently on probation for operating with visibly impaired by alcohol. And it's alleged he failed to submit to drug testing as ordered on November 22nd. Mr. Tess on November 24th, tested positive on November 6th. And counsel? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, my clients were registered at a hearing contesting these violations. And at this time, that won't be necessary. We'll admit the responsibility and then provide allocation. All right, ma'am, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear from the testimony about to give this matter the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right. And you heard the plea that your attorney just indicated, correct? Um, yes, I have submitted proof uh, to um, him and also um, the court. Ma'am, ma'am, ma Ms. Bonds, yes. Ms. Bonds, and you're either yes. pleading guilty or not guilty? Uh, yes, I'm pleading guilty. I... Guilty, okay. And ma'am, who's in the car with you? Because there's a lot of background noise there. It's my autistic, uh, it's my nephew. I'm I'm watching him right now. I'm sorry. Um, well, you don't need to put him on the screen, ma'am. He's, a, I, I'm trying to get him to be quiet. I'm sorry. And you're not driving right now, are you? No, no, I'm in the passenger seat. See? See? Okay. <laughs> No, nope. okay. I'm going to donate right now so I can pay for my tether. Miss Bond, can you just stop and just let the judge go through this process? Only ask to yeah. answer questions that are answered. We're ready to proceed. I'm just trying to answer them, sir. Okay. Stop speaking, Erica. And so, ma'am, as you heard, as you mentioned, you're entering a plea of guilty, and you've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney as it relates to probation violation purposes, correct? Yes. And you understand all of those rights? Yes. And you understand that by entering into a plea that you'll be waiving some of those rights? Yes, I do. And you understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this, whether, I'm sorry, in this court or any other court. Also, as it relates to the recommendation here to have for probation to be revoked, $50 probation violation fee and 20 days jail. Do you understand that? I do, ma'am. And knowing all that, you want to continue with your plea? Yes, I do. All right. And has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No, ma'am. All right. Counsel, if you can please part of your claim. Yes, I'd like to direct your attention back to the dates of November 22nd and 24th of 2023. Did you fail to submit to tests as ordered through your probationary terms? Yes, Yes sir. or no? Yes, sir. And then on November 6th of 2023, did you test positive for marijuana? Yes, sir. And I gave the probation oh. my, for my doctor. Thank you. Say sorry, Judge. All right. And the court does find the plea as knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the probation violation, indicate technical violations two, three, and four will enter. And uh, counsel, as to the recommendation. Your Honor, my client indicates that she does, in fact, have a valid prescription for a medical marijuana card if we have extra documentation provided. Uh, provided to her probation officer. Judge, I saw the recommendation for jail. I'd ask that there be a jail review. Uh, give my client an opportunity to coordinate with her probation officer and get everything back on track. I don't believe that she has any malicious intent to sidestep her responsibilities with probation. And we'd ask for one final opportunity for her to demonstrate full and complete compliance. Thank you, Judge. Okay, thank you. And so, why did you not report for testing on November 22nd, ma'am? Um, honestly, judge, it's been a money thing. My hours got cut at court. My manager also submitted a letter in my behalf because our hours were cut 180 hours for mid shift. So my hours have been like 14 hours a week. And it's really hard to pay for the tether, the Ubers. Um, I actually have my friend taking me right now to donate blood so I can go pay for the tether today because it is due again. And I have submitted every test. I'm not, I've been my sobriety. 
and I've submitted my proofs to the um, probation. I just asked you let me meet up with them and get everything back on track. I'm I'm trying yeah. right now to get the money so pepper. I can get all this pepper. back on track. What about what we do? Okay, ma'am, what about your Smith test on November 24th with the sober link? Um, that I called them because I have not missed a single test out of 180 blows. I've not blown dirty or missed a test. And I thought that was really weird. So I called them and I talked to them and they said, for some reason, it did not submit. I do have pictures on my phone where I went to go blow and I have to wait until it loads and everything else. I do have it on my phone to show my probation officer. But I have maintained my sobriety, ma'am. I have blown every single time and not consumed a drop of alcohol or been around it even during the holidays. Ma'am, what is it you say that you brought into the into probation on Friday? Um, it was the prescription from my doctor for my medical marijuana um, for weight loss. I am on um, renabinol. It's a pill that it has THC in it to make me eat because I've lost so much weight since I've been out of jail, since I've been on this. Okay, and so who did you give that paperwork to? Um, I took pictures of it, um, submitted it to um, Marcy. I gave Marcy my... Um, my summaries of both of my visits that have the prescription right on. Well, she doesn't have those, ma'am. I, I, I can bring them there um, to her again if she needs them, but I just, I have more copies at home. I submitted it to her from the place that gave me the card, which is um, a cardiologist. And also, well, you also my Hold on, your, your cardiologist, ma'am, your cardiologist gave you approval to smoke medical marijuana? No, 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 that is where my medical marijuana card came from. But my primary care physician that normally does not prescribe that has, pers has been prescribing that for the past few months because of my weight loss. I submitted the paperwork to Marcy. I have extra copies if you need it. I have maintained my sobriety, ma'am. I've not been around alcohol at all. Even during the holidays, I, I didn't even go really to my family's house or functions because I didn't want to be around it. Okay. I didn't want that. You also, you also didn't show up for a test on October and um, November 6th either. It's just the money thing, ma'am. I, 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 the whole thing is my hours being cut at work and trying to be a single mom of three and take care of them and also help my mother that just had a stroke. So I'm like really trying. <laughs> Well, I can I can appreciate that, ma'am. But at the end of the day, this court ordered at your last um, probation violation sentencing mandatory jail for any future violation, and now we have four, four, four. I oh, well, I thought three, it was. but there's also a missed test on the six on your sober I'm aware. That's that? I thought we were that's what we were going over today was all of it. And I do have the proofs for you and for the court. I've submitted them to Marcy. I'm sorry if she did not submit them. Um, I also have a letter she from my ma'am. She didn't have yes, them to I submit to the court. I, I gave them to her. I also sent copies to my um attorney, and I can drop paper copies off to you. Well, ma'am, when those paper copies are going to tell me, that'll be a, regarding your medical marijuana, correct? Yes, yes. And my weight okay. loss. Okay. Even absent that, you still have two missed tests. 
there's actually two missed overlings, but and then a missed test. And so the court ordered mandatory jail for any future okay. violation. Now there's been three. And then four, because we don't have your paperwork regarding your medication regarding the marijuana. But so the court's going to adopt the recommendation, revoke probation, close the case without improvement, $50 probation violation fee, 20 days jail. Ma'am, on Christmas, I'm a single. Wait. I'm sorry, what's that, counsel? Your Honor, it would be possible for my client to have a report date? I'll give her until tomorrow to report. And to re report by tomorrow, ma'am. Okay. All right, good luck to you. Please email it to Shine so she can give you your information regarding reporting. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Have, have a good day. All right.